Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. We've got Sun here. We can't ignore him. Okay, let's see this. Okay, yeah. questions. We can't ha hate on him because he still has daylight. <laughs> in a little bit left. Not much left. <laughs> yeah. I could tell. I could see daylight emanating through the window, son. Don't try to fool me. Don't try to fool me. So the one of the reasons why Sun is on, first of all, Franklin Armory does help us put on this crazy podcast. I, I don't know. You. <laughs> I, you know, I, I hope that's going to continue. Yeah, they, I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. I'm sorry. Yeah, they help us get. No, it's fine. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they help us bring all the ruckus and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just letting everyone know that. <laughs> but son, Ruckus. you're here because you guys came out with the CA7. That's a new gun. What's up? Tell us what's going on. Yeah, that's correct. We did come out with a brand new uh, CA7 pistol for California. Okay, what is the deal? Where is it? First of all, do you have it? I got it right here. Show us. Okay. Ooh, there we go. It. Ooh, it's a pistol. It's a pistol. It's a pistol. It, it, has, look, it looks very normal. Yeah, it looks very pistol-ish. And you were, say, you were saying the magazine, you can press the yeah, uh, magazine I release? That too. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, man. <laughs> the technology. Now, <laughs> I know that magazine looks a little different. What's special about the magazine? That one's just a 10-rounder. Okay. All right, so that's cool. Okay, so it's just it takes regular magazines. It could take P mags or any kind of magazine, right? Yep. Okay. So the thing about it is that it's a bolt action repeater. Oh, hold on, bolt action. Okay, you got to throw some light on this thing. Where's I don't know the? You can see. Oh. I don't Look. see the bolts. Look. Here we go, coming around. I'm seeing the muzzle right now. Where's there's no gas port. Oh, okay. So ah. it's manu manually, manually operated. Okay. Yep. Yeah. No gas port. Okay. Um, but there is. Okay. So what's on the right side of the gun there? Hold the gun up again. Okay. So I see a um, the flap right there. Yeah. Standard AR. Everything okay. just built just like a regular AR. Just no gas port. No hole. No hmm. gas system. That's okay. all. That's all. So you took? have to operate it. Single shot every time. Okay, so that's the only difference between that and any other AR pistol. Yep. Wow. And that's all it took. That's all it took. Uh huh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, Walter. Where were those questions that you had? Well, I mean that. that <laughs> I thought there was a magic magazine or something or something like that, but. No, yeah. I mean, manually operated is pretty much, I mean, that's not, you get all the features, you just got to work it by hand, so, no. Yeah. yeah. Whose idea was this? It was actually the president of the company's idea. Okay. He knows all the, uh, he's been looking at all the California laws and knows, uh, knows what's up and what's going on, so. And, he, and nobody's, nobody else has tried this then? No. Um, so, with California, of course, they have, uh. You know all the little pistol laws they have micro stamping right. now they have um, a whole bunch of crazy laws they even have laws against single shot guns now so it's mm -hmm. definitely crazy what's going on so of course i can't give any legal advice to anyone right 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 uh-huh uh-huh okay <laughs> so this okay so you're saying this was jay's idea yes okay um <laughs> Yeah, how come no one thought about this before? I'm just trying to, like, <laughs> is Jay some kind of evil genius that, you know, that Those he's going to... Really good ideas. <laughs> okay. No. So, and then you guys, this is 100% California legal. It's on the roster or... Drop roster, yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, what are you guys selling this thing for? This thing's going for around $900. Okay, $900. Okay. Um, is yeah, there anything? California pistol, so. Oh, it is. Okay. So, is there anything else? Does it have? Um, does it have a binary trigger in it? What else is going on with this no. thing? No, it has a standard trigger, standard everything. Just, just a okay. AR pistol that you can actually get registered. Registered. You can register this pistol in California. Okay. So the reason why I'm at, okay, you can't have you can't have the binary triggers in California, right? 
No, you can't have the binary triggers. Okay. All right. So that would be something that would take away from it. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. So right now you can't even create a AR pistol in California. You can't make one yourself. It's not on the safety drop roster list. Okay, you can't build one. You can't get a lower and build one. No, you can't get the lower because not right. Well, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, have you that. Can you can't have lower that lower because it's not registered. So how could you okay. build one? Yeah, can we take this pistol apart? Because I want to see exactly what like separates this in there. Is there's I'm assuming there's no difference in the lower. No, there's no difference in the lower. No difference in the upper. Okay, so this is just something with the bolt. Okay, there you go. All right. Um, standard bolt. Okay, it's a standard bolt. Okay. Oh. Just if you look in there. No, uh, no gas tube. Okay, so that's all it is. So why can't a person just build something like that in Cali? So there's no way to register a pistol unless if it's on the drop roster. So you can't build one yourself. Okay, so technically any company out there now can just start doing this and get it on that thing and then offer these pistols in California, right? This is not, do you guys, you guys don't have any kind of patent on this, I'm assuming? No, anyone can actually start doing it. Okay. We're just getting, you know, getting pistols into California, so. Yeah. Um, Jay Jacobson, Jay uh, says actually the lower has a slightly different trigger. Yeah. Okay. So, and 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 Jay is the evil genius I was speaking of earlier. I'm assuming that's Jay, right? Is yeah. that the boss? Is the boss watching? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you didn't hear anything before this, Jay. But yeah, it does have a, have a trigger, um, a little heavier. Okay. All right. So it has um the, it, the heavier trigger pull on the trigger. Yep. So it's past the uh, drop roster. Okay, so Ohio Wolverine says 900, damn thing better come with your choice of blonde, brunette, or redhead. Um, <laughs> can you tell us why the, you know, why the $900 price then? So it is still 100% U.S. made, um, hard cone anodized three, so everything's made here in the USA. You have 100% U.S. parts, so that does come at a cost to do that. Okay, all right. Um, and when is this, when are you, you guys selling them right now? Yeah. So they're, uh, they're shipping out now. Um, you can either check out our dealers, uh, on our website, um, go to them, or you can even, uh, right, purchase it right off our website and get it delivered to whatever dealer you want. Okay. Uh, pickle tit says, I think the understanding here is that no one buys this because they want a straight uh, pull bolt action repeater. This is sold this way to get around the roster issues. I wouldn't change it, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably a good question. Yeah, you can't. So I'm I'm assuming you cannot change this if you buy, huh? I can't give legal advice on that. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes. I'll give you some non-legal advice. It's like a brace. Keep it the way it is. <laughs> yeah. You start monkeying with it, you end up you end up being a, 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 a an example case made out of you. Yeah, I want that. Yeah. yeah, so none of us are giving any kind of legal advice. I'm not a lawyer, but um, yeah. Yeah, so let me ask you this then. Um, can, well, yeah, you said you can't, you just can't do this in California. That's the thing for anyone who wants to know, right? You just can't do, you cannot build one of these. You guys can't have a kit. You can't sell a kit to people in Cali. No. It has to come like this, put together, right? Yeah, so you do have to get this exactly like this. This is how we're shipping it. And selling it to California. Yeah, um, because Ronnie, you can't, you can't, you can't buy a stripped lower in California. You because can buy a stripped lower to make a rifle out of it. Not a pistol. Yeah, but in order to do a pistol, you have to make sure it's on the the safety drop roster. List. Oh, okay, that drop drop yeah. roster stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So uh, let me see. Did I did I share the uh, where the heck is the? <laughs> let me um, let me share this with people for anyone who didn't. Uh, who didn't see this because it you, you probably have more info in the uh in the press release right um uh, i'm just trying to go down this press release and see does that does that also require a lot of micro stamping and all that monkey business 
No, since it's a uh, bolt action repeater, it doesn't require micro stamping. Yeah, here, let me throw this up there for you guys so you can see. It's like a long kind of link. I don't, I don't know if they're going to let me do it here. Let me throw it up so you guys can see it. Uh, no, it's not, it's not letting me do it. Oh, crap. All right, someone's got to make a bit.ly out of this. I don't know if I can get Lola to make a bit.ly out of that link. I'm trying to put it up here, but they won't let me. Here, let me go and try to make it into a bit.ly. Walter, take over for a second. <laughs> okay. I'll try to make this bit.ly. This show is really going to crash now. So. <laughs> um, do they, um, in California, when you, you it's kind of probably like ATF, you got to submit something for a determination. Yeah, right? so it does have to go through uh, a drop test what you pay for and then you send the guns out to them and then they you know do the whole drop toss test they actually do drop the guns with with uh you know primers and make yeah sure so that's that's the that's the reason for the heavier triggers to pass the drop test probably yeah okay yeah, yeah. Okay, I just threw it up there in, uh, in in a bitly so that we can go through it. I think really, if you guys have questions, I see that there's lots of people. Um, there's lots of comments. It's like it's expensive because it's California. You know, there's comments to that. I know that's going to be always the number one question with people, like why the price? Why is it? You know, like you said, you're saying, son, that it's the manufacturing part of it. Uh, it, what's the whole process of getting on that roster in California? Does that add extra cost or expense to this? Oh, yeah, it does cost, cost quite a bit. Um, you got to pay the company that does the testing, and then you got to pay the state for every variant you, you release. So if you change, let's say, a grip on one, you have to pay for that. Or if you change um, even a manufacturing part, you have to you know resubmit everything and have to go, every, go back through everything and paid for again so yeah okay so i'm going to inform everybody everybody listening in the chat that's called guns in socialist society okay because everything costs more yeah i mean isn't this what isn't this what california has done to um to cars <laughs> <laughs> having their own set of this and their own set of this and their own yeah. set of that yeah yeah, cafe standards and all that kind of stuff have yeah. added a lot of crap to cars that we don't necessarily want in there, no, but we, we have to pay it. for it. Yeah. Um, I shoot my AK naked, says 900, not bad for Cali. So yeah, that's the thing. Look, if you're in Cali and you want to get one of these things, you can't just go out there. That would give you a cheaper option, right? I'm not, you know, son, I don't know. Like what I'm trying to do is have the conversation with people and not just glaze over that, right? Because there's some people that don't understand that. So yeah. obvious, obviously for these guys to um, to develop this and then jump through all the hoops for California and put it out there, this is the way that it is. A company has to develop it, jump through all those hoops of California. There's lots of other companies that just aren't going to do it. And more than likely, any company that does do it, they're not going to be able to sell you that thing for like 300 bucks. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for someone to do that. And unless if they're outsourcing a lot of you know Chinese parts and then you know, if it has to come from the same vendor every time, so you don't know if it's coming from a different vendor from China. So with the drop roster, you have to make sure that everything is perfect and it coming from exactly the same manufacturers if you wanted to do it that way. Yes. And by the way, I see Kiaski is asking Jay a question. Uh, everyone, Jay is in the chat. Ask him lots of questions. Keep him busy so he doesn't know like what else we get up to. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to ask him a lot of questions right now. But Jay is answering questions. Uh, we should get Jay to come on here one day. He's actually, I actually like him. He's a, he's a gun guy. He's a Second Amendment guy. He hates all these laws just as much as anybody else, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I talk to Jay, he gets real passionate. <laughs> you know, uh, right or wrong? Right or wrong, son? Four. No, I'm saying, like, I, I'm just trying to let people know that Jay's a pretty passionate guy about all these different laws he's trying to fight back he's trying to make solutions for people and all that you know um and the thing about that is it costs money someone's oh, yeah. gonna pay for it it do. does someone someone's gotta pay for it someone's gotta you know get things someone's gotta invent things um just like one of our, our other products that we send to california um we sell these dfm magazines so everyone can get ars um under the fixed magazine so if you actually pull out the uh the magazine it pops out of the top um, uh -huh. closely there's two little tabs on there 
that stop it from being pulled to the bottom. So, you know, you can put it in there and you can't pull it out. And now you can, you know. Yeah. So the board. only way you have to open up, you have to open up the upper and the separate the upper and the lower and then pull that straight up. Yeah. Right. So, and the cool part about this one, you know, you got a regular mag catch and everything. So, so, uh, so what is that called again? This is our DFM magazine. So if Californians don't want to go to that assault weapons registration or, you know, register any of their guns as assault weapons, they can uh, use our DFM magazine. And okay. And what does that cost? These run about twenty five ninety nine. Okay. All right, there you go. And are they available on the website? Where, where can people Yeah, you can check out our dealers in California. They're selling them on our website. They're selling them. Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. I'm sure you guys have lots of other stuff like that for California. Um, yeah, Ohio Wolverine says, is that price point California pricing because of the cost of living? If someone from Nevada bought one, would it be cheaper? Why would you buy it in Nevada if you didn't have to jump through the hoops to have a pistol like that? Yeah. Yeah, um, our, our, our normal pistols cost just as much. Um, again, okay. it, it is, you know, all 100% American made. It does take cost to get American steel and American everything. So. Okay, good. So, all right. So that's a good point. So the, the pistol that you guys sell is in that you're not like bumping up the price here just because, hey, this is a California thing. We'll bump it up. You guys are offering a higher quality material in the first place. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're looking at everything, inspecting everything. So it does okay. take a cost on us. All right. So technically, some company could come in there and make a cheaper one with less material, you know, um, quality. Yeah, they can get foreign stuff in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... Okay, let's see. Um, I see Kiaski asked Jay uh, how many pounds is the trigger, and Jay said that it's a five-pound trigger. So um, that's not necessarily too bad. It's not heavy. For yeah. an AR-15, that's not heavy. Yeah. <clears throat> they can be eight, uh, nine pounds <laughs> without any trouble. So. Yeah, and Jafari H. says, and I, and I think Jafari is in California. I'm not sure. But he says, I thought in California to build your um, your own, you need to apply for a state approved serial number, which is dumb, but you can build your own gun. It would have to be featureless or whatever. Am I wrong? So for for AR rifles and stuff, yeah, you can do that, but um, can't do that for pistols because it has to be on the safety, drop roster safety okay. uh, test list. So. Okay. All right, cool.